This programme contains strong language. She's here to meet her son's new friends before they all head off to the castle for the fashion show. Oh. Hi. Well, if I knew you were coming, I would have told you to bring me some clothes, Mum. Really? Well, yeah, I didn't bring some stuff. Really? Yeah, no, what it's happened? annoying now. I've got my dinner jacket. You forgot your dinner jacket? Mm. Do you want me to it's drop fine. it off for you? It's fine. I miss my boys when I don't see them. And I think they rather like seeing me. I am bold enough to say so. <laughs> well. This is interesting. Dima. Well. Could you tell from the round <laughs> locking me? Like, <laughs> Mum walked through the door. First thought, what is going on at the castle? And second thought, hey, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, honey. Mm. How's is, everything at the castle? Everything is fine. Yeah. Igor started. Who's, who, who's Igor? He's a Russian artist who's staying there for a while. To take care of the place, A, while I'm not there, and B, for me to stop having to do lots of stuff at the castle. Mr Dooley Markle has been summoned for an audience with the queen of this castle, the one and only Lady Colin Campbell. Hello. How are you doing? How do you do? Good. You are? I'm Tyler. Tyler what? So Tyler Dooley Markle. Tyler Dooley Markle. Correct. Markle. Markle. Markle, like... Like the... Okay. Would you like to have a seat? Yeah, please. I'll sit right here. Do. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shit. Lady Colin Campbell. This girl is scary. Are you close to your aunt? We used to be close, and, that, and that's the problem, is I used to view her as a sister. Mm. We're similar in age. So she was everything to me and my brother. And it's been rough the last few years for us. You mean since she became attached to the royal family, it's been difficult? I mean, really, the, the royal family and what's happened with this mainstream media and, and just this level of exposure mm. on my family, mm. it's like we, we can't even speak to her. I mean, everything just cut off. You have been all placed in a tremendously embarrassing and difficult position. And the embarrassment started with the lack of an invitation to the wedding. I mean, there's no way around it. That is the reality. And why do you think, why do you think we didn't, I mean, just, just for me, so I know. Why do I think you weren't asked? Do you think because she might have been embarrassed of well, who we are? Well, I would imagine that's the most likely explanation. Speaking to Lady C and getting her insight opened my eyes to my aunt. But I love my aunt, and she should be proud of where she came from and her family. Ultimately, it's her responsibility and her choice. Right. When people move up in the world, sometimes they think that their background militates against them. But again, in my day, society was composed of s totally upper-class people. It's changed. The new magic circle is the celebrity world. And it's all very mixed up. I'm not familiar with the royal family. I'm not sure how things are operating. I'm very over, familiar over with here. the way royalty operates and aristocracy. Right. You would never distance yourself from your family just because some of them are rackety. On the contrary, you may not see them on a day-to-day -day basis, but at family events, you include them all. Right. Prince Philip, for instance, his mother was rackety. His father decamped to the south of France with his mistress. His father died, of course, before he got married, but his mother was at the wedding, his mother was at the coronation. I don't like what's happened in my family. It's a national embarrassment. Mm. It's not national, With... it's international. And I can yeah. tell you, I've never known of any member of a family to cut off their birth family except electively. When Megan finds out that I'm on this show, 
I think she will watch it. And I really do think that this will um, allow us to kind of bridge any differences that are out there. 